Hi True North students, I just wanted to jump on real quick and show you guys your dashboard and your platform for school. So let's log in. Remember if you share an account with another person, meaning do, if you share an email with another person, you're going to want to make sure you sign in with your username and your password rather than your email. So here we are in my student account. You want to go to progress and you'll be able to see the different classes that you're in. We're going to go into this one. On that progress page, you let me just go back one screen. On that progress page, you would be able to see here if you have any new assign things assigned today, any active assignments, any um, anything that's due today. You'd also be able to message your teacher within the platform. So, like I said, you can click through, and it takes you to the class page, the bulletin board for the class, and you'll find information there. And then you can use be able to see the topics and you can click through um, with the topics. Your teacher will have different variety of things. And if you continue with this video, you'll be able to see the same information uh, through the parent dashboard as well, because it looks exactly the same once you get to this place. So I'm not going to spend too much time on that. I just want to show you real quick what you can see. Here's your assignments area and there is the assignment list for what the teachers have re released in the case for this class. So you would be able to also see the roster and you would also be able to go through, you click through to the area in which you would submit assignments and if you wanted to, if you have like essay things or that type of thing, you could write those in here. It's going to be based on what your teacher asks you to do for submitting assignments. I think the one thing I need to make sure that teachers and, I'm sorry, that students and parents understand is that in order to submit assignments, you need to be in the student account. Okay, so whether you're in elementary school or you're in high school or anywhere in between, you need to be in your student account in order to submit the assignment for that student because the grades then get attached to that student and that can't be submitted by a parent. Um, so that's the big clarification on the student page. You can go through and look at these other areas and you can go up here and check your profile and your settings and the information that I talk about later in the video uh, when I'm looking through the different things via the parent dashboard. So at that point, it's all the same. All right, with that, I'm going to switch it over to looking at the parent dashboard. Hi, True North families. This is Shannon. I just wanted to uh, give you a quick walkthrough of the platform that you will see once we have everything turned on. So I'm starting here at the uh, login page. Just a reminder that if you are sharing in an email, you need to log in with your username. So you're going to click next. You're going to go into your account. So this is going to go directly to the parent account. Um, because that is the username I chose. All right. <clears throat> so on the parent account, you'll see your dashboard. You've got your kids, your resources. It's always on the parent account going to open up to resources. When you want to look at your students' um, classes and that kind of thing, you want to choose your student, and then you're able to see their classes here. So in my example account here, you can see that when you choose your student, it opens to the progress page and gives the student information. And um, you can go then through and click to their classes. You can message the teacher on the progress page. When things are open, you will be able to see the bulletin board, the topics, the assignments, and I believe pieces of the roster. So bulletin board is where all the general information is going to be and where if you have a link to um, this class doesn't have it because it's a sample class, but you will have see a link for Zoom registration. You really have to do that to get to the live classes. You need to register the first time and you can set it up on your Google Calendar for reminders or anything like that if you'd like. The next place you can go to is topics and this is uh, when you click through to the topics, uh, the teachers have the ability to do whatever they want within the topics. You will find um, that there's a lot of creativity and uh, flexibility for the teachers to use this. In this case, this one has assignments in it and then some other items. 
So if the teacher chooses to put assignments in, you could find them here. Um, my one uh, caution here is that you understand that this, for both students and parents, is just a to-do list. So when you mark this box here, it does not mean that you have submitted anything. In order to get into the assignment, you need to click the blue title, and that will take you into the assignment, and then you'll be able to um, do anything that needs to be done and complete it, okay? Let's go back one more screen and move over to the next tab. You also have the ability to look at just the list of assignments that have been released. And this is, you have the ability on the right to sort what kind of assignments and the date range and that type of thing. So you will see active assignments by default. You could see uh, assignments from the past, future, but only a future assignments that the teacher has already released or if you want for a certain date range. If the teacher hasn't released it, you won't see it. So, um, so that is the assignment tab and it's going, let me see what we have for future here. There we go. And when we look to the future, you can see that uh, these are in my example account, all the assignments that have been released. So you would be able to see uh, their instructions if you were to click through. And this is pretty bare. It's just got a few things in it, but this is where you would find the instructions and anything you might need to do for that assignment in order to submit it for grades. When we are on future again, you'll see the day it was assigned and the day it's due. Okay. You should be able to see the roster. So let's go back to the bulletin board. And I just want to make sure that you understand that this toolbar up here is for the parents and you choose your students here. Each person also is able to receive messages and send messages from here. And if there's any official notes that would be attached to uh, your permanent record, those would show here. Everybody needs to go to their profile. You need to check your settings and change your settings for how you want others to see you. You want to look and you want to click on the login settings. You want to click notifications and go through and choose what notifications you want to have. And you also want to choose privacy and set your privacy for uh, the individual that you are looking at. So in this case, this is the parent, the parent account. You would need to log into each student account and do this as well. You can't, I believe you cannot do this from the parent account for the students. I could be wrong. Let me see what happens. You might be able to change a few things on the contact card uh, for the individual, for your student, um, but permissions and privacy, I don't believe is one of them. All right, I think that is it for this. Do make sure that you check out what's under your profile um, name so that you check your profile, you check your settings, and you go through any getting started um, resources that you have here. So and as the parent, it will be, it will probably be useful for the, the students to go through this as well. Just a reminder, teachers will not be teaching you how to use the platform. You will need to go through before the first day of class and get comfortable with it. Um, and so that the first day of class is actually dedicated to the classes that your student is enrolled in. So take some time between now and the first day of class to get familiar with the platform and the different resources you have um, and all the different pieces. You'll be able to see your schedule. So if we go back one more place, I'll just check real quick. I'll go back here because a lot of people have asked about the schedule. So once it's unlocked, you will be able to see your student's schedule right here. That's not yet unlocked, but it will be probably by the day you get this video. So um, you will see the classes for that individual here, and it will give you some features to be able to sort for assignments and some different things there. So take a look at that. All right, I hope you all have a great day, and we are so looking forward to um, having a great year at True North with the teachers and the community and we thank you for partnering with us and we are um, excited to partner with you as we home educate and do homeschooling all over the world. All right, have a great day.